Hello! Um, I thought it'd be fun to show you my favorite spring perfumes for this week's review. Uh, simply because I don't think I've actually ever done a review on um, perfume before on my YouTube channel. I did do it on my weblog when I still had a weblog. But I never did it in the video for the uh, well, sole reason really that I'm not all that good at describing perfumes. And with a blog post I could just post a whole lot of photos and just... yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tell you what my four favorite springtime perfumes, perfumes are and like what they're supposed to smell like and what I personally think they smell like. And also my two all-time favorites because, well, they're just my all-time favorites so I just also want to show you them. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So my first favorite is like my ultimate spring and summertime favorite. It's a Rose Fresh or Fresh Rose. It's, it says here in French but I think in English... Countries is called Fresh Rose, it does actually say so on this box. Well, it says both languages. Point is, um, it's an eau de toilette actually, instead of an eau de perfume. And yes, by Yves Rocher, it's not... Uh, I think this bottle was like 20 or 30 euros. It wasn't expensive at all, while it's like a huge bottle. And this is basically just a sort of perfume that I like to spray on all the time. Like, I'm, I'm not actually all that much into perfume. It actually like took me years for, before I actually started really appreciating perfumes. Like before that, for some reason, it just all smelled, all smelled the same to me. And this was actually one of the first ones that I actually liked. Um, so yeah, when I use perfume, I usually only spray it here and then on one wrist and just rub them together and it's it. And with this one, what I also like to do is when I don't actually... Like when I don't really want to smell like anything, but I do want to smell nice if people happen to be standing really close to me. Then I just spray this in the air, then walk through it, and then it just gives us... Gives a very subtle scent, which I really like. Um, what it's supposed to smell like is... Oh, here. Uh, rose and grapefruit, bergamot, I have no idea how to pronounce that. And mandarin essential oils. So, yeah, basically it's a bit fruity and a bit um, fresh. Yeah, it, just, it, just, it smells really fresh. Um, but it also definitely smells like roses. And what I personally think it smells like is... Um, when you walk through like a field or a garden and there's a rose bush and it's just, just starting to bloom, that's sort of what it smells like. It's a really nice scent. It really, really reminds me of early spring. And it is, you know, in summer it's still nice also, of course, but yeah. Um, it really reminds me of early spring and this is a really nice, fresh, rosy scent. Uh, by the way, excuse me if I constantly fumble with my bangs. They're actually slightly too long, as you can see, so I need to cut them again. But yeah, on to the next perfume. Uh, my next favorite is actually one that's from a Dutch drugstore. Um, so it's not available anywhere else, but if you're ever near the Netherlands, then, you know, you could go look for it. Um, it's called Cherry Bloom. It's by Kruidvat. And this is basically, I think, pretty much the cheapest one I have. It was like, it's actually the um, travel size. It was like 5 euros or so. Like, really, really extremely cheap. Um, it's supposed to smell like... It says here in Dutch, and I'm really bad at translating fruits. Um, raspberry, I think. Yeah, it's a raspberry, cherry blossom, and blonde wood. I have no idea what blonde wood is, but I suppose it's just a sort of wood. Um, so yeah, basically it smells like raspberry, cherry, and wood. Uh, what I personally feel it smells like is mainly just sort of cherry blossom. Sort of, it sort of smells like the blossom tree in my backyard, even though that's not actually a cherry blossom, but some sort of blossom. It never carries any fruit, but it's not cherry blossom, but it smells, it just smells like a tree, so it smells like blossom. It's a nice, um, yeah, just again a nice flower scent. I'm actually pretty much into flower scents, they're basically my favorite sort of scent. Um, so I also really like this, and yeah, there's basically only this much left in the bottle. I really like it, especially because it's cheap, because again, just like the other one, it's just one that I... Just randomly splash on in the morning without worrying about whether or not the bottle is going to end up being empty at some point in time. Like, if I'd have like an 80 euro perfume, I wouldn't dare to use it because I'd constantly be worried that the bottle would go empty. But with this, when this goes empty, I can just afford to buy a new one, obviously. So, yeah. And then the next is an Yves Rocher one again. Um, yeah, basically most of my favorite perfumes are Yves Rocher, as you'll notice throughout this video. Um, this one is called Quelcus Notes d'Amour. But then in proper French, um, I'll just list all the perfumes down below in the description box. Because that's probably easier than trying to write down what I just said. Because it probably doesn't sound anything like how it's supposed to be pronounced. But yeah. 
Um, it's just a really cute bottle. Um, as you can see in the insert video, um, it just, yeah, I really like the design. It, I think it's pretty much the prettiest bottle of all the perfumes that I'm showing you today. Um, this is actually an older perfume and not an older toilet, by the way. But yeah, I just really like how the logo is like sort of wrapped around the top part here. And there's a little heart in here as well. Like, little heart shape. It actually took me, it took me weeks to notice that. Yep. Um, and unlike the others, this one doesn't really smell like fruits. Um, let me just look up what it's... Oh, right. Or fruits, I meant. Flowers, yeah. Point is, um, it smells like roses, uh, fruits, and wood, and smoke. Okay. What I personally think it smells like is... Um, well, to me this doesn't really smell like flowers or fruit. It smells fresh, it smells sweet. Um, but it doesn't smell like candy sweets. Um... Just, yeah, it just has a really nice, soft, sweet and fresh scent to it. Like I said, I'm not very good at describing scents. But this is the sort of scent that's like... I don't, I don't think anyone will actually dislike this. Because it's just... It's not a very specific scent to me. Um, I really like it for those days when I'm not very specific in what I want to smell like. You know, when I don't specifically want to smell like fruit or like flowers. When I just want to smell nice, then I just wear this. And then the last one of my spring favorites is actually one that's only a favorite because I think the bottle is sort of cute. Um, it's Cat Deluxe by Naomi Campbell, um, which doesn't actually... I looked it up on the boxes. Yes, I do keep all the boxes of my perfumes. Um, oh, by the way, there's something that might also be interesting to tell. Um, I always heard that, like, like, I always think perfume bottles, for start, I always think perfume bottles look gorgeous. And I think it looks very pretty when people have them on display in the room. However, I've always heard that perfumes can go bad if they're like constantly in the light. And personally, because I don't use a lot of perfume, like, like I said, I only spray like once or twice and that's it for a day. Um, they actually last me for like years. And I don't want them to go bad because of sunlight. So what I do is I keep them in a, in a drawer. And whenever I take them somewhere, like on vacation or just along in the back, I keep them in their original box. Just to keep them in the dark and, you know, safe. Um, so yeah, that's why I still have all the boxes. But anyways, the um, scent isn't actually on the box. Like what it's supposed to smell like. So I can't tell you. What I think it smells like is just perfume. It's like pretty non-specific. It's like, yeah, it's just one of those perfumes that to me just smells like perfume. Um, so yeah, it's not actually a scent that's... Something I wear very often is just usually a scent that I wear and when I do want to wear perfume but I don't want to smell like something specific. I just use this. Um, I don't use it very often but again I just think the bottle is very cute so that's also why it's a favorite. And then lastly I have my two all time favorites. Um, I'm gonna be shorter about these two because they're not actual spring favorites so they don't technically belong in this video. But they're my all time favorites so I still wanted to show them. Uh, the bottle by Yves Rocher, this is Moment de Bonheur. Um, again, sorry, French isn't something I'm good at. Um, this one smells like roses. And roses, like... The scent of roses is basically my favorite scent ever. And this one smells like drowning in a rose. Like, where this one smells like just walking in a garden where there happens to be a rose bush blooming. This one just smells like drowning in a rose. Like, seriously, it's a very, very strong rose scent. Um, I do actually only wear this at parties or, you know, just like on special occasions. Because for casual, I think it's just slightly too strong. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really nice scent. It's just, it's, it stays on me like all day. And yeah, I really love it. And the other all-time favorite one is So Elixir Purple. Um, which also sort of smells like flowers. But it's a very, somehow it's a very feminine scent. Like, I don't know, I guess they all are, but... It's just very, very feminine and it's just, I don't know, I think it suits very well with like more sexy, edgy outfits. And that's also usually when I wear it. Um, also mostly during parties because it's quite strong. But because it's not a very heavy scent, I do actually also wear this on like casual days. Just when I really want to like smell nice, yeah. So yeah, that was today's video. Um, by the way, I'm still looking for like more perfumes because I do want like... Let me tell you, these are my favorites. I just showed you six perfume bottles and basically all my non-favorites that are left in the drawer right now. There's only like four bottles. Five bottles actually. 
So yeah, I still, you know, I do want to try more perfumes because I do actually nowadays like perfumes. I don't know, I'm just not very good at looking for them, I guess. Um, so yeah, if you have any like advice on what perfumes you think I should try, then, you know, I'd love to hear it. Um, so yeah, for now, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye! Putting them on, I really had to pull my eyelids to get them to give off color. Um, I've also had a bunch that did work on my bare eyelid, but not over top of um, 